What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. All right, guys, so we just started recording. I just brought Joe Kelly on. I think this is week 28 um, of the new member orientation webinar. I'm a new host every single week now, Joe Kelly, and without further ado, what is up, my man? Hello. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. How was your day, dude? Dude, it was solid, straight. man. I've been uh, I've been on a real hot streak. I've just been, dude, I've just been doing the process, man. Outer lines, backside, small size above VWAP, the 30% rule, the 70% rule under, you know. Yeah. Just, dude, when you stick to process, you make money, man. When you don't. Just when nailing, you do... nailing everything per usual, you know. <laughs> just well, nail. I Lots of nails. That, but... I just passed more nails around than a carpenter, just fucking putting it in. <laughs> you got to nail it. <laughs> You guys just nail and bail, man. You just got nail and bail. It's a way of life. But here's the thing, man. Like, I would have lost my ass today if I was got if I got cocky and I saw this because I saw this here. And I was like, man, you know, this is tempting. This is tempting. But I'm gonna stick to process, man. So I didn't touch this. And I was like, dude, break process, you fucking die. Oh God, can that's gross. I haven't even seen that stock until just now. Bro, I don't even know what this Ooh. is. I think it was like, look at it, look at this, Joe. Look at the daily. I think it was like an IPO recently. Look at this, dude. Ooh. Look how disgusting this is. Ugh, no. Pass. no. Do not touch this short yet, guys. There's nothing to really base it off, man. Like, I don't even know what is this is. Is there even a catalyst? Is. I couldn't find one, man, at the time. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the stock hit the 52-week low on Monday. <laughs> that's your, that's oh, your news. That's your catalyst. <laughs> Yeah, there's no news, is there? It doesn't look like there's any news, man. So this will probably be a good short, but dude, I I, I wouldn't do it today, man. I'd wait till tomorrow when it conforms. Man, it's a long. I'm sure Aloha's already said it. I haven't even looked at chat. I bet Austin's already said it. But dude, as a long, if you're if that shit is up like that, you don't look at that and go, whoa, it could go up so much more. You look at that and go man there's no catalyst here the sec could walk in and halt it and you lose 50 70 percent of your investment dude and here's because the you're and holding like, and hoping and joe let's make that very clear man for new members so guys if the sec sees this man a company you know that's a piece of shit you know they do what's called a t12 halt for those who don't know because not a lot of traders know this who are brand new dude they can halt this that could last anywhere from a 10 minutes a day to 10 years dude and your money's locked up so i don't care if this is a good short i don't like like shorting shit like that. I don't want to be stuck in a halt for years, man. Yep. Yeah, you tie up your feet, capital dude. and then, yeah, it could be great in the end for the short, but yeah, if they T12 it, like Tosh said, you never know how long that shit's going to last. And, and here's the thing, they, man, like a T12 yeah, will yeah. almost always be good for a short because it's kind of like death to a stock. It's like they just found out like investors, literally, it's like the stock got AIDS or something. Like they went to the STD clinic and they realized it got <laughs> gone. Yeah. But like, dude, even as a short man, I've been stuck in a T12. I was short DGLT back in the day. Dude, I shorted it like, I can't remember what it was trading. I think like 120 and it opened up at like 50 cents. But dude, I was tripping balls for like three months. My money was locked up. Yeah. It, oh yeah. And then, and then uh, the, the last T12 that I remember was, uh, was Plague, P-L-A-G. Oh yeah. And it went from like four to 14 or four to 11 or some shit like that. And, and it got halted like middle of the day, just boom, T12. And everybody's like, what? <laughs> and, and like four or five days later, it opens at the first print, the first tick, four bucks. Jesus. And Cody. it was like, you just lost you know, 50% of whatever you put into it. And, you know, okay, as a long, that sounds terrible, but dude, I've been down a hundred percent on a short position before. And I'm like, bring it higher, motherfucker. Bring it Say, higher. Dude, and, Joe, can we just take a second and tell Sam he's <laughs> sick in the fucking head? <laughs> oh, dude, I was telling him in chat already. <laughs> I was like, happy for you, but you're fucking psycho. 
Dude, Sam, dude, what are you like, doing, dude? <laughs> Sam, you're sick in the head, dude. You're Sam, sick in the head, you know bro. how you know when Sam woke up? That's that's when you know Sam woke up right there. <laughs> he, miss, he missed everything else, and he was like, I can still nail. Oh, yeah. He woke up and saw Lyft, got FOMO, went and traded Can. Let's uh, let's see. Can you talk about your DTS shortened thought process that went into the plan? Oh, mine, it was, it was very simple, man. <clears throat> I saw DTSS. I've traded this in the past. I know it's a piece of dog dookie. I... <laughs> 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 I, uh, I love how you're like traded into the past. I know it's a piece of dog poop. Here we go. <laughs> got in. Let's got talk out. about it. Yeah. Uh, the number one thing Walked I was looking- in, fuck shit up, got back out of it. I mean, Hail, what, bail, what's more to talk about here? Out. Fuck question answered, moving on. Uh, <laughs> I love it, dude. E-Rob, what I wanted to do, buddy, is uh, I saw that this was uh, getting pumped up by a pumper, so I wanted to scale um, a little bit early uh, into the four line, probably a little bit over, probably about 420, 425, um, 30% of my size, you know, starter. And that's what it was, man. And then once this had a death candle of death candles, I mean, this is like, this is Shiva, you know, the god of death candles that needs many sacrifices. Then I just wanted to follow it down, man. This just stayed a heavy under VWAP. I noticed that literally every single three minute candle pushed and failed push and failed push and failed that i was gonna put some on every pop and i did almost i mean i didn't do these but i did all these so simple man very simple a nutless monkey could could have followed me on that trade i'm telling you right now it was very simple very simple menard uh and can you go over the 40 percent volume theory you guys went over last week uh oh yeah dude i mean that's super simple me and joe covered this last week but every trade that you're taking in the morning before you take a trade midday pay attention to the volume if this is 40 percent of the morning range you know, we, we, we talked about this last week. If this is the full range in the, or I'm sorry, if this is the full volume in the morning, draw a line at roughly the 40% level. And then notice that if the demand comes back and really test this level and test this level and then breaks through, it is most likely going to be a headache for you short. Maybe do a VWAP reclaim and then continue going. I mean, it's as simple as that, man. Pay attention to the volume. Another question. What do you think a good profit average per day would be for growing an account? I'm averaging about $40 per day paper trading, but I'm worried that would be all eaten up in commissions and locating the real thing. Uh, Joe, you're great at these, man. You want to answer that one? Yeah, that would definitely be eaten up in locates and commissions real fucking quick. So yeah, it, it's uh the commissions and locates yeah if you're averaging 40 bucks a day paper trading but you know if you're doing that through shorting yeah you're not making enough to make right. to to overcome platform fees and data fees and just fees in general when those fees like, kick in man you're gonna be like where yeah. are all my profits dude oh yeah 100 percent. yeah 50 60 70 percent of that's gonna be gone yeah and so to me like if you're averaging 100 bucks a day then you know, okay, yeah, you're fine. Moving on. But when you're averaging that that amount, you've got to be at a zero dollar commission broker or somebody that has free locates and someone you're not paying for platform either. And that's, I mean, that's that's your only options. That's your options. You've got to be low cost, basic features. And, you know, I trade with E-Trade right now because I I don't have any platform fees. The platform is good. I've got great borrows on all big caps. For small caps, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Not at all. Wouldn't touch it. I would be with a big account, Cobra, obviously, because you have the ability for free locates then because that takes away 30 or 40% of your profit. And then the platform fee would be your only thing. And then commissions, they're pretty inexpensive because when you're adding liquidity, using fantasy orders yeah you're gonna be you're you're not gonna be paying much so guys this was awesome today joe again we're gonna we're gonna bring you on every week man you're a huge asset to this new member series this has been awesome guys thank you for showing up joe kelly's gonna go touch himself <laughs> <laughs> as he said he was doing earlier oh man let's so, take wait one last look just know that joe's holding the bag he's holding the bag oh you hold that bag brother i'm gonna hold the bag if I have to eat the loss, I eat the loss. Oh, whatever. Everybody pray for Joe and we'll see you next week, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.